All right, next topic is exponents with negative bases. Here's what I'm talking about when I say an exponent with a negative base. Something like this. Negative 1 squared, or negative 1 to the power 2. Actually, before we get to this, if you could uh, just make what I have here a table with these headings, exponent form, expanded form, and standard form. Break it up, and uh, just so you can judge how much space you need, you need one, two, three, four, five, six spots for six rows going down. Seven, including the title. Okay, so negative one to the power two. Before you get all squeamish and think, "Oh, I can't. This is so, this sounds too hard." Relax. It's no big deal. You know your rules of exponents. This number tells you how many times you multiply this number by the base. So it's negative 1 times negative 1. I'll show it like this. Show the multiplying like this. I, don't, I could have put the x in between, but I'm just going to show it this way. Negative 1 times negative 1. Well, what is negative 1 times negative 1? Signs are the same. It's positive 1. Why is that? Well, you can kind of think that the negative signs kind of cancelled each other out. And that's why you get positive 1. Okay, now I want you to make a prediction here. What do you think about this? Negative 1 to the power 3. Do you think the answer here is going to be a positive or a negative answer? Let's take a look. Negative 1 to the power 3. We do negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That is the expanded form of that. Well, let's figure this out. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Then you bring down the negative 1. 1 times negative 1, signs are different, is negative 1. So the answer is negative. Okay. Now, this one here. What do you think the answer is going to be? I'll give you a hint. It's going to be 1. We just don't know if it's going to be positive 1 or negative 1. So with this, let's write it out. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. You get all that. Let's do the bed mass work here. That times that is 1. Bring down the negative 1. Negative, uh, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Bring down this, that times that, signs are the same, so it's going to be positive 1. A neat way to look at this is that maybe here you have the two negatives cancelling each other out, which makes it a positive. Here, yeah, you had these two cancelling each other out, making a positive, but then you had a little extra negative left over, which makes the overall answer negative. And to the power 4, Again, you've got cancel each other out, cancel each other out, you're left with the positive. So a, a rule that you might come up with is that whenever you have a negative base in brackets raised to an even number, exponent, like that or like that, you're always going to get a positive answer. Whereas if you have a negative base in brackets raised to an odd number exponent, you're going to have a negative answer. Even, positive, odd, negative. So, based on that, take a guess. Do you think this answer, whatever it is, is going to be positive or negative? Well, if that's an odd number, according to this, it should be negative. Let's test it out. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This times that signs are the same, it's positive 4, bring down the negative 2, 4 times negative 2, signs are different, it's going to be negative 8. So yeah, odd numbers, negative, even numbers, positive. Okay, let's actually write that down as a rule, we'll skip these two examples and come back to them later. 
So here's one of the rules. In negative bases with brackets, when the exponent is even, the answer is positive. And when the exponent is odd, the answer is negative. Okay, so that's negative bases with brackets. But then you look at these two. They don't have brackets. Is that a big deal or not? Well, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Here's what the key difference is in expanded form between this and that. With the brackets, you'd write it out like this in expanded form. Without the brackets, it's, uh, this is written like this. Negative sign in front, 2 times 2 times 2. So you, you do what's in the brackets first. All of that, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And that negative sign never goes away. It's like it's stuck to the answer, and the answer is negative 8. So you're probably thinking, oh, no big deal. Brackets or no brackets, you get the same answer. Well, that works for odds. Let's see if it works for evens. Now, according to this, if it was brackets around it, we would say for sure this answer is positive because this is an even number. Just like how that was positive, we think this is even. But we don't expand it this way, we, we expand this like this. Negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This, if you remember from, above, from before, is 16. And that negative sign does not go away, it's stuck to it. So it's negative 16. So when you have a negative base without exponents, it does not matter if it's an odd or even number. It's always going to be negative. Look, the negative sign is stuck to it and never goes away. So our second rule, this is the first one you did already. Negative bases without brackets always have negative. Answers. Okay, so important to know, um, and hopefully you wrote that out and it makes sense. Okay, now let's put this to work with bed mass with a question like this negative 1 to the power of 5 plus 1 squared. This, what is the answer to this going to be? negative 1 to the power 5. There's no brackets, and like it says, without brackets, it doesn't matter if it's odd or even, the answer is going to be negative. So this is going to be negative, and it's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, I think I kept count, so the answer is going to be negative 1. <coughs> and this, 1 squared, 1 times 1, which is 1. You're down one, you're up one, you're left with zero. So you should get a donut for that one. This one here, negative two to the power three. Remember, it's got brackets. This is an odd number, so our answer is gonna be negative. Negative what? Well, two to the power three is two times two times two, which is eight. Negative 8 plus, so we're doing the exponents here first. We need the exponents here as well on the next step. Negative 2 to the power 2. Here we have brackets and it's an even number. Negative 2 times negative 2 signs the same positive 4. So we have positive 4 there. And then we just do this. You're down 8, you're up 4, you're down 4. All right, what about something like this? Negative two times this, 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 and that, that, that. 
All right, bed mass style, what are we gonna attack first? The negative two times the negative two? Nope, we do the exponents first. E for exponents comes first. Negative two to the power four. In brackets, it's an even number. This is gonna be a positive answer. Two to the power four is 16. Two times two times two times two is 16. Bring this down. Now you can do the exponent here on the same step. Negative three to the power three. Brackets, odd number, we know it's gonna be negative. Three to the power three. is 27. So it's 27 over here. Okay, so we brought it all down. What do we do next? Um, we do the multiplying. This times this. Negative 2 times positive 16. Signs are different. It's negative 32. Then we have this double sign here. What are we going to do with this double sign? The signs are different, so it's going to become a big minus sign. So it's negative 32 minus 27. And you gotta figure that out. That would be negative 59. You're down 32, you're down 27 more. You are down 59. All right, you are now ready for your skill testing questions of which there are four of them. Try those out. Good luck with them. Show them to me when you're done and we'll all be happy.